tuned in to Radioactive, and this is Ask Dr. Tanya, the show where you get to ask advice from a real professional certified psychiatrist. Dr. Tanya is neither certified nor professional, and is in fact not a psychiatrist at all. However, her second cousin on her mom's side is a dentist, so that's close enough. And now I'd like to introduce a whole new segment in my show called Speak Your Mind. Is there something that's really bugging you? Is your teacher's whiny voice driving you nuts? Is your boyfriend being a major jerk? Then come on. As Dr. Tanya. <laughs> and you can speak your mind. Today's first speak your mind guest is George Goodwin. George, take it away. Thank you, Dr. Tanya. I hate it when I'm eating celery and I get kind of the celery string stuck between my teeth. It's made out of celery, but for some bizarre reason, it's stronger than a metal cable. And it gets stuck in your teeth and goes all the way back in your mouth. And when you reach it, you just can't pull it out. And I also hate it when people say, hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, and this bugs me. This really bugs me. When people say, see ya. <laughs> see ya. What is up with that? <laughs> see ya. Of course you see me. I'm right in front of you. <laughs> oh, and this also bugs me. When I'm on the bus, and I'm about to take a bite out of a chocolate bar, right? But just right then, the bus goes over this bump. I miss my mouth by like a foot. And then when I do take a bite out of the chocolate bar, the almonds are stale. And then the jerk next to me, like Leo Kachulian, says, Pard Pardon me, George. Do you mind if I take a bite out of your candy bar? And I hate it when people call candy bars chocolate bars. They're two different things. And that's it. OK, thank you, George. That was George Goodwin on Speak Your Mind. Oh, one last thing. I also hate war, suffering, and disease. <laughs> Thank you, George. <laughs> and that was... With your host, Radioactive's very own shrink, Tanya Panda. <laughs> Bye for now. And remember, if you feel like you're going crazy, don't worry. You probably are. <laughs> Guys, very good. Yeah, nobody's. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, Tanya, this uh, isn't easy for me to say, but that wasn't a terrible show. Ooh, hold on there, Resnicky. You don't want all that praise to, you know, go to her head. Thank you, Blair. <laughs> you know, Tanya, that speak your mind thing is brilliant. I feel so much better now. That's great, George. Yeah, it's amazing how it works. Ever since I went on and complained about Dutch Kowalski giving me wedgies, he's been really nice to me. Really? Yeah. Now after he gives me wedgie, he says sorry. <laughs> <laughs> such a happy group of students. It's not like the chess club, eh, Miss Atal? Oh. <laughs> well, yes, they are having little trouble. Yeah, but I heard that the chess club's not the only one. Apparently, the flower arranging club are at each other's throats. Really? The flower arranging club? Uh, they had a slight riot last week. A riot? <laughs> I mean, what do you expect? Put a bunch of flower arrangers together in the same room, and there's bound to be trouble. <laughs> well, don't worry, Mr. Tall, because we know how to get along. Yeah. Ow! Don't! Stop! Stop! Keep on getting along. <laughs> Your car. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm late. Whoa. George, what happened to you? What? Oh, this. Uh, Leo Kachulian heard what I said on Speak Your Mind, so he threw a water bomb at me. <laughs> Three, two, one. You're on. You know, maybe it's not such a good thing to speak your mind. Uh -huh. 
And now it's time for a brand new edition of Speak Your Mind. And our first guest, our first guest is actually a newcomer here at Upper Redwood High and a new member of the radioactive team. I'm talking, of course, about Blair Resnicki. Blair! Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks. Okay. Go ahead, speak your mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, what really bugs me is You know, is there's when... nothing better for releasing tension than to just, like, get it off your chest. <laughs> yes. Uh, what really bugs me Talking is about when... how we feel can do wonders. Yeah. What bugs me is... Actually, when... it's like therapy. <laughs> yes, what bugs I me... I it... do it, I get just completely... What bugs awesome. me is when people interrupt me. <laughs> And another thing Sorry. that bugs me. And another thing that bugs me okay, is what people Okay, thank, thank you very, very much. And now it's my turn to get something off of my chest. Hi, my name is Morgan Lee, and I'm gonna speak my mind. <laughs> okay, now I do hate a lot of stuff, but um, here's a partial list. Now, first of all, I hate guys who wear their baseball caps backwards. <laughs> and also those guys that do that L sign for loser. <laughs> I can't stand it when people chew their gum like cows. And, oh, and of course, when they take their gum out and then go to, like, put it on the wall or something. Um, oh, and I can't stand it when people swallow loudly. <clears throat> okay, that's great, Morgan. Thank you. Does, I hope that makes you feel better. Does that make you all feel a lot better? <laughs> uh, it's great to clear the air. No, see, you just have to go. What? Well, hey, I'm gonna put on the wall. Come on, Missy doesn't like this. Oh, I'm glad you guys are interviewing me. You gotta let me speak. That's the show for today. Thank you. Bye. Well, look, I can't use that word. What my problem? Why would you try to do it? Attention, everyone. She's gonna like it. Yes, we have some good art. Well, I knew it was too good to last. It was only a matter of time before you showed your true colors. Turns out you're as bad at getting along as the rest of them. But, Mr. Tyler, let me finish. Up until now, Radioactive has been largely unsupervised, but I'm afraid if you people can't get along, that may have to change. <laughs> you mean? I mean that if you people continue fighting, I'll be forced to move my desk in here to keep a closer eye on you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Ah! We won't fight. <laughs> <laughs> You'd better not. Why oh, was we Why would the 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 Why fighting is my fault. It was my idea for the stupid speak your mind thing, and now you all hate each other, but if you want to be mad at someone, you should be mad at me. Okay. okay. Why were you doing this? I start that speak your mind. Introduction to Psychology, Chapter 10, Group Dynamics. The key to solving group conflict problems is to identify the individual types that make up your group. Below is a list of the most common personality types. Number one, the standard nutcase. <laughs> this type can be identified by his unusual and unpredictable behavior. Hey, hi, Tanya. George, why are you walking like that? Huh? Oh, it's my new shoes. <laughs> Look, they're really springy. <laughs> Hey, are you reading? Is that a book or something? It's a psychology textbook. I'm trying to fix all the problems I started. Because of me and my stupid speak your mind thing, everyone's fighting. Nah, don't worry, Tanya. Things aren't that bad. Oh, Man, just just don't talk to me. That's ridiculous. Come on. See? Oh, I hate it when we fight. I have to make everything better again. I have to. Okay, good luck. 
Another common behavior of the standard nut bar is a tendency to stare unblinking for long periods of time. <laughs> Personality type two, the delusional personality. Hi, Jennifer. Blair. The delusional personality often believes he's far more important and special than he really is. <sighs> I have some great news. I'm asking you to the dance on Friday. Congratulations. Because of his delusions, this type often finds himself surprised and confused by how others treat him. You don't want to go with me. I, I don't understand. <laughs> They often need to create their own reality in order to suit their delusions. Oh, I see you're scared, right? I mean, you never got out with a guy like me before. After all, I am an all-star hockey player and the president of the Supermodel Appreciation Society. So I guess you don't think you're worthy of going out with... Hello? Often, they see things totally different from what is actually the truth. Oh, man. She must have fainted. <laughs> Personality type three, the extremist. <laughs> okay, Jen, yes, did I tell you this? Steve McDonald is gonna take me to the dance on Friday. Isn't that amazing? Uh, that's great, Morgan. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I wonder what I should wear. The extremist often exhibits an energetic, seemingly ecstatic <laughs> state of mind. But their mood can change dramatically from one moment to the next. <sighs> Wait a second. I don't have anything to wear. Okay, this is terrible. I'm gonna look like a loser. <laughs> Why did he have to go and ask me to this stupid dance anyway, huh? I'll say <laughs> Personality type four, the weasel. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Roger. Although the weasel often appears to be extremely kind and caring, they are, in fact, only looking out for themselves. Tanya, did you ever find your pencil case? No, Roger, I didn't. Oh, well, don't worry. You can have mine. Thanks. Yeah, well, since I'm new here at Redwood High, I figure I show you all how generous and nice and caring I am. Right. Lurking behind the generous exterior of the weasel is a devious, immoral person who will stop at nothing to fulfill his needs. Here it is. Isn't it nice? Yes, uh, thank you. Um, just give me two dollars for it, okay? Roger. Yeah? This is my pencil case. Oh. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll give it to you for one dollar. In any given group, you're likely to have only one or two of the previously mentioned personality types. <laughs> if you do have more than two of these types in your group, good luck. You're going to need it big time. Okay, Blair, I'm going to show you some abstract designs, and I want you to tell me the first thing you see, okay? Okay. Uh, doc? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the first one. Uh, that looks like Mummy. Mummy? That's interesting. So you see your mother. No, no, no. Jack Mummy plays left wing for the Rangers. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, how about this one? Zitnik. Rangers? Sabres. <laughs> right. Um, and, and this one? Wow. Let me guess. Wayne Gretzky, right? No, that's Linda Vangelista. Oh. Wow, we, that's quite a bathing suit. Can, can I board this picture? Um, no. Uh, this one? Now that's Wayne Gretzky. Right. <laughs> Wait a second. That's Wayne Gretzky and Linda Vangelista. Okay, enough of this. Thank you. Next! And then suddenly I was flying, and there was this giant castle, and the window was open, so I went in, and there was Frosty the Snowman. So me and Frosty were making burritos, but he kept putting on too much cheese, and I said, Frosty, cha, too much cheese. And he turned into a pile of socks. <laughs> and then my Uncle Tibby came in, and he had a really small head, like the size of a golf ball. And when he spoke, he sounded exactly like Elmo. And he said, <laughs> objects in mirror are closer than they appear. <laughs> Interesting. Now, can I tell you about my dream? <laughs> okay, Roger, I'm gonna say a word, and I want you to say the first word that comes to your head, okay? Okay. Great! Uh, excellent. Sorry? Uh, pardon me? Oh, no, I haven't started yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Uh, perfect? Perfect. Flawless! 
No, 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 no! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, man. For me? <gasps> and then the guy who ate the bicycle became a bag of chips and started to sing the Lithuanian national anthem. <laughs> and then my father came in, but it wasn't my father. It was Mr. Potato Head. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, then what happened? And then things started to get weird. <laughs> okay, I'd like you to fill out this little questionnaire for me, please. All righty. So what exactly is this test for? Oh, it's to see if you have any obsessive personality traits. <laughs> me? Obsessive? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll be right with you. Um, Morgan? Huh? Forget about it. Tanya? Why you are so glum? Oh, I feel so bad, Ms. Atal. Who am I fooling? I'm not a psychiatrist. I thought I was helping people, but I just seem to be making matters worse. Oh, gang, still not getting along? Oh, well, no, they're not. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I well, I have something that might make you less depressed. If your little gang is still bickering by tomorrow afternoon, I'll be moving in to radioactive. Understand? Well, yes, but how is that supposed to make me less depressed? Well, don't ask me. You're the shrink! <laughs> okay, I've uh, finished all my tests and I've made a diagnosis. According to the psychology textbook, you're all uh, really weird. Really? Weird? <laughs> I'm not weird. Quiet, please! Thank you. Now, I've decided that the only hope we have of getting along is to have a group therapy session. What's goop therapy? Group therapy. We all sit around and share our feelings with one another. <laughs> no way. <laughs> not a chance. You can count me out. Oh, me too. Yeah, sorry, Tanya, but I'm not going to sit with these people and I talk. I wonder where Ms. Atal will be putting her desk. Oh, all right, yeah. fine. <laughs> Let's begin. Yeah. All right. That's more like it. So I want you to listen to what others are saying and not judge or criticize them. So who wants to start? Well... Oh, uh, no, that's it. I'm leaving. Whoa! Oh, oh, what's wrong? Do I have to stay here and listen to this? Listen to what? All she said was, well, uh... Yes, I know, but it's the way she said it. Why do you blink when you talk? Blink, what are you talking about? When you talk, you look right there. Uh, hello? What about me? Doesn't anybody care what I feel? Well, no. Yes, I'm look, 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 let's talk about when you talk. Why can't we talk about when you talk? Why can't we talk about when you talk? I'm sorry I had to do this, but it seemed like the only chance of getting anywhere. <laughs> okay, that's great, Blair. I think we're making some real progress here. <laughs> Does anyone want to respond to that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ms. Atal will be here soon. If she sees you guys are still fighting, that's it. She's going to move her desk in here. Do you understand? <laughs> okay. So you can take off the tape, but I want you to be nice to each other. Okay? <laughs> okay. Remove the tape. You just I don't ah. she ah. Okay, ah. Ah. okay. Somebody try and say something nice. <clears throat> I'd just like to say I'm sorry and that I want us to all be friends again. You had to do that. You had to do that. Oh, oh, you oh, 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 Who's Tanya? My name is Queen Elizabeth the First, isn't that right, Mr. Popo? Mr. Popo? What, what's that, Mr. Popo? You want to go water skiing? Oh, what a great idea! Let's go! <laughs> Ta 
Tanya's gone gaga. What the <laughs> heck was she talking about? Yeah, you can't water ski this time of year. I think I know what the problem is. I think Tanya may have cracked under the pressure. Pressure? Yes, the pressure to make us all get along. You know, she felt responsible for all our stupid fighting, and maybe when she saw that she couldn't put an end to it, she cracked. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that's, that's okay, George. You... You don't do it on purpose. Actually, I do. You know, I'm not trying to honestly... <laughs> Ooh, no, that really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, let's just forget about all this dumb arguing. I mean, we have to. We have to. Just, I mean, look what's happened to Tanya. Let's go find her. Right. Yeah. Come on, guys. Well, if it isn't Dr. Tanya, I was just about to pay a little visit to the ante room. No! I mean, uh, could you drop by later? No, still fighting, huh? Well, <laughs> yes, but I think that we could fix a whole I thing. I knew it. I guess I'd better start moving my things. Oh, but Mr. Tom, I'll see you later, Tanya. Oh! <gasps> All right, now, Mr. Popo, I'm going to have to put you in my locker for a little while because I'm having lunch with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hey, Tanya. <laughs> I mean, Queen Elizabeth II. The first. Whatever. Um, Tanya, we've come to tell you that we're not fighting anymore. You're not? No. We realized we're being really stupid. Yeah, stupider than usual. Oh, I'm so glad. I don't like it when you fight. Well, neither do we. So, are you gonna be okay? Me? Oh, sure. Oh, you mean the crazy thing? You guys didn't actually think I'd lost my mind, did you? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Us? <laughs> no, you didn't, you didn't trick us. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you were just pretending to be crazy. Uh, of course. It was my last desperate attempt to get you guys to snap out of it. Oh. And it looks like it worked. Oh. All right, all right, very <laughs> fun. Oh, uh, oh Morgan. Oh, That's what you wanted. Yes, but now you're getting along too well. Uh, so you want us to fight again? No, no. I won't. I. I. I just carry on. <laughs> chocolate bar, right? And I'm about to take a bite, and the chocolate bar goes over this bump. No, sorry, the bus goes over this bump. This bus, the bus goes over the bump, not the chocolate bar. If the chocolate bar went over the bump, it wouldn't make sense. 